Hi everyone. Welcome to Pit Tutorial. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to use the ChatGPT app in 2025. This guide is perfect for complete beginners, so don't worry if this is your first time using ChatGPT. To begin, open the App Store if you're using an iPhone, or the Google Play Store if you're on Android. Search for ChatGPT by OpenAI and install the app. When you open the app, you'll first see the Welcome to ChatGPT screen. Just tap Continue. Next, you'll arrive at the main ChatGPT interface. You can actually use the app without signing in, but to unlock all the features, you'll need to sign in. So, tap on Sign Up to create your account. Tap on Sign Up. Here you have four options, Continue with Google, Continue with Microsoft account, Continue with Apple, or Use your email. If you choose Continue with Google, select the Google account you want to use, enter your full name and date of birth, then tap Continue. ChatGPT will link your Google account, and within a few seconds, you'll be signed in and ready to use all the features. When you open the app, here's what you'll see. At the bottom, there's a text box where you can type your question. Let's try something. I'll type, explain the solar system in simple words. ChatGPT instantly gives me a clear answer. But here's something even better. I can ask, turn this explanation into a mind map. ChatGPT will then organize the information into a structured mind map format, which is perfect for students and teachers. One of the coolest features in 2025 is voice chat. Just tap the microphone, ask your question out loud, and ChatGPT will respond with a natural sounding voice. For example, I can say, ChatGPT, what's the capital of Japan? And it will answer back, the capital of Japan is Tokyo. If you want to hear the voice, you can click on the sound icon. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. It really feels like having a real conversation with your phone. Another powerful function is the ability to upload images and files. For example, if I upload a picture of a math problem, I can ask, chat GPT, can you solve this step by step? And it will explain the solution clearly. If I upload a photo of a recipe, I can say, turn this into a shopping list and chat GPT will generate the ingredients I need. You can also upload documents like PDF or Word files. Before I forget, on this side, you'll find your chat history. This lets you revisit past conversations anytime, so you don't lose important answers or ideas. Right below that, there's the library section. This is where all the images you've generated will be stored, so you can easily find them later. And here's the new chat button. Tap this whenever you want to start a brand new conversation with ChatGPT. You can use ChatGPT in many different ways. 1. Education and learning, homework help and explanations, summarizing lessons, practicing languages, creating quizzes and mind maps. 2. Work and productivity, writing professional emails, drafting reports and proposals, analyzing documents and files, brainstorming business ideas. 3. Daily life, planning meals or trips, creating shopping lists, learning new skills step by step, asking for fitness or health advice, always confirm with professionals. 4. Creative fun. Writing stories, jokes, or poems. Generating YouTube scripts. Making song lyrics. Even role-playing conversations. To get the best responses, remember, be specific with your requests. Add details like tone, style, or format. Ask follow-up questions to refine the answer. And don't be afraid to experiment. ChatGPT learns from context in your conversation. Although ChatGPT is very powerful, it's not perfect. It can sometimes make mistakes or give outdated information. Always double check important facts and never share personal or sensitive information like your passwords or bank details. And that's the complete beginner's guide to ChatGPT in 2025. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.